Hello everyone. So some time ago I had a situation where we were looking for for a simple way to transfer some data between our LPAR to, to the cloud. And in that in that time uh, we didn't have Ansible uh, for for this US. We were looking for uh, some some scripting. So we created some bash scripts uh, to do the FTP, SFTP conversion and everything. Uh, but well, we have Ansible now, and I was uh, talking with some friends, and we were uh, playing a bit with this. And the idea of this video is to to record uh, something uh, that we we did uh, to to do that with Ansible. So let's take a look here on what we need to do. Okay, so let's get started creating uh, the file prepare. So this is. This will be the, the first file just to set up an environment to have some data sets for us to, to use on this demo. So let's add the name of this play here. Let's use the, let's point to the ZDNT. I don't want to gather the facts. We're gonna add here some data, some variables for with the list of data sets later in the task. So let's put here. So uh, here is, will be the list of data sets that we want to do this backup and, and then later on the restore. So let's create uh, a list here with some data sets, uh, starting with some, I don't know, some ADCDZ, .aws, just some, some demo, some fake data sets for us to use. Okay, the first for Rex, uh, let's add one. Uh, also for uh, the JCLs and another one for, for COBOL, for example. Okay, we're gonna have some uh, some data sets that we're gonna uh, work here. We are going to use the collections. So let's add here uh, the IBM ZOS core collection. And into the task is, uh, we are going to start uh, defining, allocating this data set. So I will use the data set module for that to create uh, the list of data sets. The name, instead of passing one by one, uh, I'm gonna use a variable item because I, I will use a loop here to allocate uh, this data set. So uh, here on the loop, I will pass our list. So the list of data sets. And uh, let's, well, let's add some, some content uh, for, for this data set, just for us to verify that it will be restored correctly later on. So let's copy just some info to the new data sets. Using the ZOS copy, I will use the content. I will pass uh, some some content here with the variables of each of the data sets. The, our destination will be uh, item also. So we will do that one time for each of our uh, entries of this list. And again, the loop. Right, so just reviewing what we have done here. Uh, yeah, I think all looks all looks good. We have here the name of our play, the host that we want to use. It's already with false, the list of data sets is here. Okay, so let's clean this and let's execute this playbook. Defensible playbook, let's point to our inventory and this prepare.yml. Okay, so the playbook will run now. We'll create uh, all the data sets we have on our list. Okay, data sets created, the content's been copied, and okay, we are good now. Nice. So let's clean this and let's look, let's verify on Zoe just to, to see the data sets have been created or not. Okay, they are here, and if we open one of them, 
we just got the content that we have added to the to the data set okay nice so now uh, the next step uh, we are going to create uh, our playbook to do this this action really what we are willing to do so uh, let's create a file called uh, AWS backup so this file will be the one that will get a list of data sets and will create a backup of them and then uh, create a bucket, a C3 bucket and we'll just uh, uh, upload, put this, uh, this backup into our bucket. Okay, uh, the beginning is all the same. There is something different uh, here uh, for this AWS. We need to have uh, the access key and the secret key of AWS. So we use that uh, for for when we want to to handle to interact programmatically with uh, AWS. So in this in this simple use case, uh, this is just a demo. I'm not encrypting uh, this information, not saving any vault. It's just uh, it will just be here for us uh, to use. Okay, let's take uh, the list of data sets we have created for this. So uh, I will just copy that. So I'm sure I won't have any typo. And don't forget anything. Okay, the list, uh, the list is here. I will include uh, that file with the secrets that I should use. Uh, I don't. I am not using a uh, Ansible Vault, so it, it's just the file. And when I, I I call that, I don't need to press password. It's just uh, just to read uh, these variables here. So I'll use my uh, real uh, credentials for this demo my secrets files let's add uh, the collections that we need to use here so uh, on display we are going to have the IBM ZOS core and also uh, the Amazon AWS uh, collections uh, the first task the first task that we are going to create now uh, will be our backup so what we are going to do, we are going to use uh, the ZOS Backup Restore uh, module to create uh, this backup based on the list of data sets. When we are doing that, we could, uh, for example, include masks here. Uh, it's not the case. We are just using that list. So we just put, put the variable here for, for the include. So let's put here uh, the the list of data sets okay now let's create the change the the backup name so this is the location where we're gonna save this uh, before we do the upload and unfortunately we need to at this moment uh, we need uh, to, to create this copy on the USS. We could use, for example, a temp file for that. Okay, there was a typo here. Just, just fix it. And okay, so the backup should be good. Uh, now, now we need to, uh, to prepare our bucket and upload. So I will use my snippets here and to create uh, the bucket. I'm not changing that. Uh, so the name, the name of the bucket, you see, it's updated at the same time. Will be uh, "Hello Mainframers." <laughs> I like it that from GSC. So okay, yeah, we can use versioning for this for this bucket. Here, the formation of the the secret keys. So the object, uh, how it will be named uh, into the SC3. So hello backup and the the path for for the backup that we want to upload to this bucket okay you're going to use the put uh well all looks good so let's save it uh okay uh, let's change this to to true so that we don't have the highlight and now now we can test that so let's use it for the last time oh we remove the exclude and yeah i think now now looks good so just a quick review and okay 
So let's execute that. So let's clan and let's call this with the Ansible playbook. Uh, let's use our inventory and let's run our AWS backup. So uh, the backup was created. Now the bucket will be created on, on my AWS account and we should, we should have the upload. Perfect. Oh, one important thing that I have I have not mentioned uh, is that uh, here when we are using these AWS modules, uh, it doesn't matter really uh, where uh, we are going to uh, to to run that. I mean, uh, the target uh, the host is that we are going to use. So what happens is that. Uh, it will use the Boto tree library. So this is a requirement that we need to have on the LPAR in this case, if we are running this on the LPAR. And, and that will, will do all the calls uh, for us uh, to our S3 bucket. Okay, right. So, well, I think we are good to, to open the Chrome. And let me access the console of my, my account so we can verify the bucket is there. So let's remove it. Let's, let's open my SC3. And okay, there we go. We can see uh, the date, November 8th. Well, it's the same date that I'm, just, I'm recording this video. And it was just created. Uh, or our object is here so perfect we have we have a backup on the s3 bucket uh, that that's using versioning so now let's do the opposite so let's uh, let's create uh, a playbook uh, just to delete our, our files so we can test the restore if it will work fine so i will start copying uh i will start with the copy of the the prepare we we'll change uh, some information here just just should be date and be in be simpler uh, to run this okay let's update it the list uh, we need the list we just ensure we we are deleting everything uh so here it should be the same uh or zos data set so here all we need to do is change it to absent and and ansible understands that it, it needs to to delete Let's uh, let's copy uh, the path of our object because we want to download a new one and we want to ensure that there is it, it's really the one that we are getting from our bucket. So let's use the the file model for that to delete uh, the the backup file that was created here, so we can download another one with the same name in the same place, and we know that is the one that we are getting. Uh, we don't need this for for this and this is with absent already okay so it should look good so well let's let's run that let's open the the zoe here so we can verify the files uh, when we run our playbook okay it's here the data sets they are here okay uh, so let's delete so i will clear and let's let's use the Ansible playbook with our inventory and this time calling the delete okay deleting data sets first one deleted okay all our data sets were deleted already so this is good and the file also so let's refresh the screen and no data sets anymore. Okay, now uh, the same happened here on my USS. So time for, for the AWS restore. Uh, I will do the same, the same way. So I will create a copy of my AWS backup naming as restore. And here, uh, we, let's do the, the, the needed updates just to, to download uh, this file. So I don't need to create my bucket anymore. So I will remove this task. And this time I need first to, to download uh, the object. Uh, what we need to change here, instead of source will be the destination. Okay, uh, here uh, instead of backup should be restore. Yeah. 
Okay, I think looks good. So let's try then. Unless we will, yeah. So let's run the playbook and fingers crossed all should be good. Open our, our file so we can see the data set. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, we forgot we forgot to change the, the operation. This time we are not uh, uploading a new object, but we are deleting or we are getting a new object. So let's change uh, the mode here for forget. And then this time we should be good. So let's let's run again our playbook. Let's see what happens. Oh, we didn't change it, uh, the task names, but that's not an issue. Uh, uh, I would just update this, but let's let's let this uh, this playbook to complete. So this will be download, and the the next one will be restore. Cool. So all the operations are completed. Uh, task names renamed, so you can get the samples later on. And here we go. Our data sets are now restored. We just uh, completed. So we have our playbooks uh, to put some data into AWS and to restore that. Oh well, hope you have enjoyed that. And to our next video. Bye bye.